as one equation. It's that. That's it. I'm gonna take that and go. See ya, but it's up YouTube, welcome back to Joshy Eats, and today we are calculating calories for fat loss, maintaining, and even if you want to go on a little mini bulk. So, calculating your calories to fat loss, it's as simple as one equation. It's that. That's it. I'm gonna take that and go. See ya, but we're gonna dive further into this. So, let's say you are a 180 pound person. Times that by 12, if you want a stricter calorie deficit, which means you're gonna lose weight faster, means you're not going to be able to eat as much or you ramp it up and you can times it by 14 which means that you're going to eat slightly more but you're going to lose weight probably between half a pound to a quarter of a pound a week maybe more maybe a little bit less but if you're 180 pounds male you times it by 12 to 14 for your fat loss calories so that would be if you let's say for the maximum deficit times 180 by 12 and that gives you 2160 so for your fat loss calories it'd be 2160 it's as simple as that guys that is it for fat loss basically so get your body weight no matter what you weigh so for an average 180 pound person times it by 12 to 14 depending on how strict you want the, the fat loss to be and it'll give you 2,160 if you times that by 12, and obviously it's gonna be more if you times it by 14, but it's as simple as that, guys, you know? If you find that 2,160, you're not losing so much weight, then drop the calories, go down. Go down maybe times it by 13, you know? Then test it again, a couple of days, maybe a week or so, and if not, drop the calories again, you know? This isn't a solid, foolproof, method for losing weight, fat loss, etc. This is just sort of a blueprint to work from, you know? It's not gonna be the magic number for everyone. It may be more, you know, you may, you may find that this number is too low. If you're losing, say, two, three pounds a week, you can up the calories, up your calories until you get to that point where you are solid, losing a half a pound to a pound a week. You don't wanna lose any more than that because at the end of the day, that will most probably be losing muscle as well, you know? All right, next we're gonna jump into maintaining weight and how to work out your calories to create a maintenance. All right, so for maintenance, it's fairly, it's fairly similar, you know? We've got the maintenance sum there, it's just body weight again, times 14 to 16 this time, so obviously the 12 to 14 range for cutting. You go up a little bit for maintaining, so at the 14 to 16 range, it's going to give you your calories. So for, again, for, we go for the 180 pound person. Writing backwards on the board, great. For 180 pound person times 14, it's going to give you your calories of 2,520. If you times it by 16, it's going to give you 2,880 calories. So, if you're a 180 pound person and you're looking to maintain weight, if you want to, obviously, this is going to be your testing range again 14 to 16, as for losing weight it was 12 to 14. Just bang, bang your weight, 180, times it by 14, 2,520. Obviously, if you're still losing weight on these calories, Bang them up, times maybe times by 15. You'll get a number somewhere in between here and here. And then even if your calories are still up, still going, oh, your weight's still going down here, up the calories more, times by 16, and give yourself 2,880 calories to play with, you know? This is quite a lot of calories, so a lot, a lot of people will find that this is probably more of a bulk. So probably this, the 2,000, 520 is going to be the number for a lot of people that's probably going to be quite quite good get a substantial amount of food on that so I think that'll probably be a good benchmark for a lot of people regardless of whether you're 180 whether you're 200 I think 2500 normally is a good 
maintaining calories. All right, next we're gonna jump into if you wanna start a steady bulk and gain some lean muscle. All right, this time we have the calculations for starting a bulk or a lean gaining phase. And we're gonna gain a lean muscle and try and gain as much muscle as possible and as little fat as possible. See, again, we've got the, got the calculations again. You've got your body weight times 16 to 18. that give you your calories this time. So again, we're gonna go stick with a 180 pound person times 16 to 18, that's gonna give you the range of 2,880 to 3,240, three, two, four, oh, which is, again, substantial calories for a lean massing phase. So again, but again, as before, straightforward guys, you know, this isn't enough calories, just up up until you're gaining between 0.5 and a pound a week you know probably want to keep the lean massing phase at about 0.5 pounds a week because then you know it is purely muscle that you are gaining and minimal minimal fat so i would say when you get to this stage and you are seeing even if it's sort of 0 0.2 0 0.3 pounds a week uh, 0.3 pounds a week going up there you, you stick to your calories this is quite high 3240 for most people but again if you're maintaining up, 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 so all I can say is up, up, up. But even if you see little spikes, do try and test this. This is a very important phase of of uh, gaining muscle is testing this out and just keeping consistent for weeks. You know, even if it goes up a tiny bit, it will it will fluctuate up and down all the time. But you know, you want the you want tiny gains when you're bulking. You know, 0.5 maximum probably. But you know, test it out for a few weeks. And then if you need to add more calories or feel like you need to add more calories, then go for it, add more, you know, and get them lean gains. That's it. All right, I hope that you have learned a lot on this channel. You know, I'm gonna time, I'm gonna stamp in some videos of uh, how to calculate your macros next, because there's another video on the channel, how to calculate your macros. And it goes more in depth into calories and how to balance them out for your diet. This has been Josh E. Thanks guys.